Hi, I'm Dale with Edwards Garage, and today I'm going to show you a 2013 uh, Blackstone 280 RLSB trailer that we have for sale. Um, up front, so we've got room for two 30-pound propane bottles, uh, a couple of batteries up, up in the front. There's also a, a battery box you can get to hold up to four if you really want to go off-grid with it. Um, we've got a pass-through storage at the front on a strut that took me off guard there a bit. A little bit slow because it's cool outside today so uh it's got a little table that you can slide out and throw under your awning for your whatnots guys got some hoses and some battery box and stuff like that inside here some blocks power cords that's what's in there um, two accesses this one goes into the main bedroom at the front of the trailer and we've got a power awning on it um, outside speakers two speakers on the outside um, it's got the frameless windows on it all tempered glass so she's the four seasons model um goodyear marathon tires on it um this one has the 15 inch tire package um entrance into the main part of the trailer we'll head on here in a minute like i said the frameless glass windows they pop out from the bottom there for some airflow three steps we've got a luggage carrier on the back a uh, little bit of homemade deal going on there, but definitely pack more gear. Outside shower back there, ladder up onto the roof, big bay window at the back. I've got the slide outs out, so she's going to be a little bit tight through here, but we just put her out. Uh, slide topper awnings on both this and the wardrobe slide. As we move to the front here, um, not too much we can see because we're pretty packed in. Got an outside light down here for if you have to do a little dumping of your tanks there in the dark, you can see what you're doing. A flush out station here. This access goes right through. Decals are in really nice shape on this trailer. Been well looked after. And power hitch up front. And that pretty much takes care of the outside of this Blackstone trailer. Well, head on and have a look at what's inside now. So here we are inside the trailer. I'm at the back. Um, it's got the rear loungers. Two of them, you kick back, put your feet up, nice and comfortable, bay window. Got a little end table in there. The end table is removable, so you could pull it out of there if you didn't want it or you wanted to put it somewhere else. You can do that. Um, we've got our control panel set by the door. So this will give us our tank levels, sliding the uh, awnings in, or the awning in and out, the slides in and out, water heater, everything's right there couple of light switches and then this is just some storage on this side um, this trailer is equipped with a satellite dish for the three thousand dollar option that's been installed on it here so we definitely get you some more information on that something you're going to be using um, we got a jensen stereo down here um, bluetooth cd dvd a um, little bit of storage here your remotes and stuff fireplace uh, tv here the trailer does come with a tv it's just been removed for a little bit of security issues here for the winter. Um, we've got a double door fridge up front, Norcold fridge. So lots of room in there. It's got a really deep freezer as well. You should be able to pack enough stuff to keep you going for a while. And some cupboards, drawers on the side. All the drawers are on rollers, so they open and close really nice. More cupboards here. We've got a microwave overhead. Uh, three burner stove right here very nice shape it almost looks like it hasn't been used but i'm sure it has a window here we got some cupboards in the back again lots of storage spots marble countertop pull out the full steel sink um spray nozzle in your tap there so you could clean your dishes off wash whatever off you need to wash off um, fully winterized now. You see a little bit of pink drops there. That's what that's all about. We've got a U-shaped dinette here. Um, cushions make down into a bed. Also, we've got a pull-out couch here that will also make into a bed. So if you've got extra people coming with you, friends, kids, whatever there, you definitely have room to, to sleep a lot of people in here if you need to. And uh, we'll move on to the back here now. So here we have kind of an ensuite bathroom. Uh, you can come through either from the bedroom or from the main part of the trailer. 
It's got a fantastic fan in the roof. We've got the oval slide shower here. A porcelain toilet with a, a foot valve on it. Same thing here, steel sink. We've got cupboards, medicine cabinet up here. And over top of the toilet, there's a little bit of room for some toiletries or whatever on another shelf. We'll move into the bedroom. Lots of room up here. You can walk on both sides of the bed. Um, power points on both sides of the bed. So if you have stuff to plug in, you can definitely do it. There's also a shelf over the bed that has power plugins on it too. So lots of room for plug-in devices or what have you in. Um, putting your books, what have you, whatnots up there. Cupboard space. We've got big closets on both sides of the bed. Cupboards in the overhead, as well as a slide-out wardrobe, which is quite deep. Got three of that. It's got racks in there for your hangers, shirts, whatever have you. Um, storage underneath the bed that just lifts up, turns into a put lots of stuff there. Up on the roof, we've got the flip down TV box. Um, same thing, there's a TV for this, just been removed for winter storage, is all. And we've got our controls for the, the wardrobe slide here, bedroom lights, what have you all right here. And I'll exit through here. It's got a nice fancy door on it, glass door. And here we are, back to the main trailer again.